I didn't really want to be a filmmaker growing up. It just seemed like it was beyond me. But we were so damn poor that it just seemed like too far beyond. But I ended up at Florida State University. Everybody in film school, the films they made were like the filmmakers they were obsessed with. So it was a lot of Spielberg knockoffs, a lot of like Wes Anderson knockoffs. I was like, well, I want my voice to be different. So I started watching nothing but foreign films. I went to Blockbuster and I chose the foreign film wall and I just randomly started picking things off. I remember uh, seeing Tarantino's face on the box for Chunking Express. And going, oh. I was like, why is Tarantino on the box for Chunking Express? I think his company put that movie out in the States. And I just watched that film and I was like, I've never been to Hong Kong. I have no idea what this is like. I don't really read subtitles, but this is amazing. And I was like, I want to do this. And I was just hooked, man. Wow. I was just hooked. Barry, what was your biggest challenge on Moonlight? And, and you're a fairly new director. Yeah, Does fair. that make it harder or Definitely easier? Definitely no. <laughs> uh, It makes it easier, you know, because you sort of don't know what the pitfalls are. Mm. You kind of just charge your head like a, like a wild dog, you know, after a piece of meat. Uh. I sort of fell into it because there's this character who's basically his mom, and my mom and Terrell's mom both went through this horrible addiction to crack cocaine. Um, and Naomi Harris, you know, plays our mom in this film, essentially. We had this issue with her visa, so instead of shooting her over the course of like five weeks, we shot all her work in three days. Mm. Wow. So for three days, I am just living mm -hmm. in this basically, I'm, I'm walking, walking therapy. Uh, <laughs> and it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do because I had to separate myself, the director, from myself, the human being, reliving all these things that I've tried my hardest to not relive. Uh, but this really beautiful thing happened where, because I was feeling so much, it came out in the craft. I want to go to this place that I think it needs to go to. If I'm going to dig up this shit, mm. you know, then the audience is going to experience it, you know, as potently as possible. Don't listen. To who, Ma? Huh? To you? Who is you, man? I ain't seen you in like a decade. It's not what I expected. What did you expect? There's a scene we were doing where, you know, it's like Naomi and this, uh, Ashton Sanders is playing the main character, and it's the first time he sees his mom as this other person. And, you know, we shot at OTS, you know, cameras here, cameras there. And I just had this feeling that it hasn't gone far enough. And so after we were done with the scene, I turned to Naomi. I was like, hey, would you mind if uh, we did a take with you looking right into the camera? Because I, I realized I wanted to put the audience in the body uh, of my main character. And she's like, no, of course, I don't mind. And I go, hey, put the 50 on. And then I go, and let's shoot it at 48 frames. I can, I can only think of that because that's how it felt to, to live it. Mm. And uh, it's one of like my favorite scenes uh, mm. in the film. It's not shot listed, not planned, but it came from this thing because it was so tough. What was the big decision that you took that you felt least certain about? Uh, you know, casting three different actors to play the main character. That was the, the big one, you know? Uh, because I, I felt like the audience started to fall in love with the character in the first story, and then you've got to readjust to literally a whole different physical being playing the same character in the second story. We might lose some people. Uh, and then with the guy we cast in the third story, this guy Travante Rhodes, he shows up, and you know one of the themes of the film is this idea of masculinity run amok. And so this actor walked into an audition with like, I mean, just huge muscles. And my gut reaction in the room was, this guy's totally wrong. Mm -hmm. But then he started reading <laughs> and I just saw the sensitivity in his eyes. I go, oh no, he's totally right. If the audience can have the same reaction I just had in the audition process, we'll win, you know? Like, this is gonna work. What part of it have you come to feel you like the best and that you don't care for? Uh, I love production. I mean, love production. Like, I could... 365 days a year, if I could. Shooting. You know? Yeah, I just love production. I, I'm, I'm my best self on a film set. You know, I just, I move. I, and you're gonna ask the crews that, that work with me. I just love being on set. Post is different. It's just, uh, it's just too slow. Huh. It's just too slow and, and everything's very finite. You know, I love how beautiful it is. You walk on a set, you know, and you just have no idea. You know, that's why I don't storyboard. You know, it's all possible. Hi, I'm Barry Jenkins. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from The Hollywood Reporter. Thanks for watching.